Hi you guys, so today I wanted to share with you my June favorites and May, because I suck. I, I got nothing. But I want to share with you my June favorites and May with you guys and just kind of show you what I have been loving this month and a little bit of last month. Um, I have a couple of old products that I wanted to talk about. These are kind of like the oldie but goodie products. There's been a couple that I've been using that I have really been enjoying and it's funny because when you buy new products, like you use them all the time and then something new comes along and you kind of like neglect the old ones. So I always try to, you know, take the old ones back out and use them because I love them at some point and so <laughs> I kind of take them back out again. So the two that I have, I have two oldie but goodies. The first one is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Global Glow. This one is dirty and almost empty, but it's just like a like a bronzy kind of color. I really like this one for summer because it's like a little bit darker, but it's still got a glow on it. So it's nice for summer because it gives you that kind of like bronzy, sun-kissed look. So I love to use this in the summertime. It's pretty empty, so when it gets um, completely empty, I will probably be buying another one of these because I just I really like this in the summertime. It's just so glowy and bronzy, and I really like this one. So that's one of my oldies but goodies. And then I have one more. The other one is the Lorac Pro 2 palette. You guys, this product, I like, you're gonna die. Everything is pan in this product. Like, do you see this? Everything's pan. There is like all these colors I've just hit pan on like crazy. <laughs> So I love this palette. I don't feel like the Lorac shadows get the credit that they deserve sometimes. I feel like a lot of people say that they're powdery or that they don't have a lot of pigmentation. And I love this palette. If I could recommend any of the Pro palettes to you, I would recommend the Pro 2 palette. I just feel like there's so many good like transition shades. And then there's like all these like really cool like chrome shades that you can use on your lid but they're not crazy. You can use them like as natural colors. As you can tell, I like the more natural kind of colors in a palette, but I go back to this palette time and time again. I love this palette and I'm constantly using it on days when I don't want to wear a lot of makeup or I use it on days when I do want to wear a lot of makeup. It kind of just like depends on what I'm feeling, but I always seem to go back to this palette time and time again. So if I could recommend any of the pro palettes to you guys, I would recommend the Lorac Pro 2 palette. I know that they just came out with the Lorac Pro 3 palette, so I um, might check that one out. I'm a little, I'm still very curious about that palette, um, but if I do get it, I will keep you guys posted, but definitely the Lorac Pro 2, I love this palette. So those are the old products that I have. Everything else I have is newer products, so um, in no particular order, I guess. Um, the first one that I have is the Estee Lauder. It's by the Estee Edit, the Flash Photo Powder. This is in Blue Bright. Um, when they came out with the Estee Edit, there was a lot of these like products that I was just really interested in. And this is like a blue, it, like there's nothing that I can do to make it better, but it's just a blue powder. Um, it's like a translucent powder and I wanted to use this because it said that it was like brightening for under your eyes. And I wanted a powder that I could use under my eyes to kind of set my concealer that would make it a my eyes a little bit brighter underneath. And so I feel like this powder has done that for me. And I do use it sometimes all over my face just to set my makeup. And I find that it doesn't make my face like super, super bright or anything crazy. It just kind of sets the makeup and gives it a nice kind of like bright finish to it. Um... I don't always want to use this one to set my whole face, but I really like this for underneath my eyes. I think it's perfect for making your under eyes nice and bright and kind of bringing life back to your under eyes and still being able to kind of set this concealer, do what it's supposed to do. So, and then on to blush, I have the NYX um, Illuminator Baked Blush, and this one is in the color... 06 Wanderlust. It's like a orangey type of color. I really just, I like this for summer. I feel like it's so like summery and 
it doesn't have a ton of like payoff to it but it's just like that it's just like an orangey color I kind of like to use it sometimes as a blush topper or on days where I don't want to wear a ton of makeup I'll put it on over um just like to dust it on my cheeks maybe between my highlight and my bronzer my contour but um I can play it up and I can play it down and I like that about this and I can layer it over my other blushes so that part is kind of cool but I've really been digging this one lately I like it um, the next one that I'm going to talk about, I'm not going to get too deep into because I want to do a whole video kind of dedicated to this palette, but, um, this is the Morphe 35 OS palette. Now they have the 35 O palette and then they came out with the 35 O shimmer and the 35 O matte palette. And I got the shimmer palette because I'm a shimmer girl. I love my shimmers, but this palette is just like right up my alley. It's got all of these like awesome neutral colors to it and all the colors are really pigmented they're awesome like I said I'm not going to go too far into it because I do kind of want to do a video and show you guys some swatches and talk about this palette a little bit but this palette's awesome it's definitely worth your money if it's in stock you should pick it up it's just an awesome palette all right what else do we have all right I have a couple of like little like little tiny things so um the first two are lip glosses i'll try and stay in order here this one is the estee lauder pure color gloss i talked about this one it's in tempting tea rose i got this in the estee lauder bag it's just that rosy like color i like this because it's kind of like a better your lips but better color so i um like to put this on and i feel like it's really hydrating it smells good and it's just a color, it's a good color. You don't need a mirror. You just kind of can throw it on and go, which I really like that sometimes about lip glosses because I don't always have time to go look in the mirror at my lip gloss or, you know, kind of like lip line everything out. I just, sometimes I got to throw it on and go. So I like that about that one. And then the other one is what I'm wearing right now. This is the Kylie Cosmetics Gloss and this is in the color So Cute. And this one is just like your nude nude. I'm wearing this right now on my lips. I don't have anything on underneath or over it. And I just really love this gloss. When I first got it, I didn't know if I was really going to like it. Um, the smell is a little strong. It smells like really sweet. And I just didn't, I was like, oh gosh, I don't know if I'm going to like this because of the smell. But I've gotten used to it and I really like this. I just, I really like the color. I love my nudes. I love this gloss. I do think it's worth it. I think they're like 15 bucks. You do pay for shipping. It's Kylie Jenner. She can do it, right? But I like this gloss, and I definitely would recommend this one. The next two are eye products. Um, let's go with this one. This one is the Estee Lauder Sumptuous Bold Volume Lifting Mascara. This, again, was another one that I got in the Estee Lauder haul that I showed you guys. Um, I didn't think that I would really love this one just because... I've never heard a lot about this mascara, but I have been using this mascara almost every single day and I feel like it makes my lashes thicker, it makes them fuller. I just really love this mascara and I have different ones that I go back and forth between, but I always end up coming back to this one lately. And so I really like this one and I would recommend it. Um, I feel like sometimes my eyelashes grow sparsely like there's parts where I have a lot of lashes and there's other parts of my eyelash where I don't have a lot of lashes and I feel like this helps to kind of fill it in and I love this love 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 this for my bottom lashes because I feel like it makes each lash like individual it doesn't make them clumpy and it really just helps with filling everything in so this mascara I've been loving this month and this one is next the milani brow shaping clear wax this one i have to get a sharpener for because it's flat but it basically and dirty it basically is just like a clear wax and you can put it after you do your brows you put it over your brows this stuff is like super glow for your eyebrows now i still use a clear brow gel over but i use this after i fill in my brows and then i put the clear brow gel over it but this stuff just puts your eyebrows in place if you have those eyebrow hairs that are hard to tame they never stay in place they're all over the place no matter what you put on them I think you should pick this up because it can def it helps to just keep them right in place and you can use it on the areas where like the tail where they tend to go up or they go down use this because I just think this stuff is so awesome it is like super glue for your eyebrows definitely pick this up I think it's like four bucks at CVS 
it's Milani. Milani never does me wrong. Um, the next one I have is the Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. Mine's in the color 75 Natural Beige and just comes in a tube like this. Now this is like the whipped foundation. So like I wanted to try this because I wanted like a light foundation for summer. And I started using this like a couple weeks ago and then I stopped using it. I went back to the Makeup Forever stick. And then I ended up coming back to this one. I've been using this one the last week or so because um, at first I felt like I didn't like it because I felt like it just wasn't like it's whipped so it wasn't like liquidy enough for me and I don't know I'm picky I guess that's what at first I didn't like about it so then I gave it a chance again I started using it it does come out it's like thick when it comes out but I do find that the blending of it is like really good and it comes in this tube and it like I said it's not liquidy it comes out like it's like it's like not liquidy and I feel like for me, I always like my liquid foundation. So trying this was hard for me at first, but I love this. I feel like it blends out really well. It lasts throughout the day. And I feel like it just is a lot lighter on my face. I feel like I wear so many makeup products sometimes that I just, my face feels like so like weighted down. And in the summer, that's the last thing that I want. I want makeup that doesn't make me feel like my face is just like covered and caked in makeup I want light light makeup so I really like this one I would recommend this um I also want to check out the L'Oreal glow foundation so I will be picking that up I will keep you posted on that but for now I am liking this one um and I'm going to continue to use this one because I just like how light it is it's awesome and let's see next up I have the Marc Jacobs um, primer. This is the Invisible Undercover Perfecting Coconut Face Primer. Is that long enough? And it just comes in, I love the packaging for this. It's just, I think it's really chic. It's got like that white lid and the frosty glass and it smells like coconut. I feel like it's really hydrating for somebody that has like bigger pores or wants to kind of vanish the pores I think that you should use like the Smashbox primer for pores or any of the other ones that like minimize pores um, but I like this one because I do have dry skin sometimes sometimes I have oily skin I have combination skin but I like to put this on underneath my makeup and then sometimes I'll put another primer on in like my trouble areas but this is just so hydrating it's so soft um, and it smells good I just I like the primers that aren't necessarily like latexy that are more like moisturizing and this one just like blends in really nicely there's no issues with it it blends right in your skin sucks it up and I love the way that this stuff smells so I would definitely recommend this one um, but it is Marc Jacobs it's a little expensive you get it at Sephora but I think it's worth it if you have really dry skin and you're looking for a primer that's kind of going to be hydrating for you and then the last three that I have are all kind of like smelly products. So I'll go through them quickly because I know how annoying it is sometimes to watch these videos on YouTube with perfumes and lotions and they're telling you how great they smell and you're going, I can't smell it. I'm, I, I can't smell it. So I'll try and go through them quickly. Um, the first one is the Victoria's Secrets Temptation Fragrance Lotion. Now my coworker has this at work. She has it in a little baby bottle and she uses it all the time and then I would come over every once in a while and say, do you have any lotion? Can I use your lotion? And this lotion just it smells really good. It's very florally. I feel like it lasts for a really long period of time, and I just love the smell of this. It's super, super hydrating, and I just, the, sm the smell, it's the smell. I know. I just said I wouldn't do that. The smell is really good. I like this lotion. You should pick it up at Victoria's Secrets. And the last two I have are perfumes. You guys saw these in my Estee Lauder haul. I've been using these like crazy. Don't judge me when they're half empty because they are. Uh, the first one is the Estee Lauder Pleasures Floral. And then the other one is the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. Now these are about both half full. I've been using them like crazy. Now not only do I love the smell of these, but I also love the compliments I've been getting on these. So the other day I had on this one. And I actually had a guy come up to me and say, are you wearing the Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder? And yes, yes, I am. 
he could smell it. He's like, I love that. I just bought that for my girlfriend. This smells like sunshine. Like you should wear this if you are working all the time. You never get to go to the beach. Like this smells like sunshine. I just love it. And then this one I had on, I put this one on before work, like at seven o'clock in the morning. And my best friend at four o'clock in the evening said, you smell so good. What are you wearing? So this lasts all day. And that was the other things that she said too. You know, the Estee Lauder perfumes, they last all day. They smell so good. And I can agree. I love these. These are awesome. This one's definitely really florally. And this one's more of like, it reminds me of like a suntan oil. But I just think it smells like sunshine and I like it. And this one is florally. And those are the kind of scents that I tend to go for. So those are all my hits for this month. Everything that I've been loving this month. I do have one miss that I didn't really like. But I used the whole thing of it. So obviously I didn't hate it that much. Um, this is, and I'm really sad about this because I really wanted to like this one. I really, really wanted to like this one. And this is the uh, Dior Lip Maximizer Collagen Active Lip Gloss. It comes like this. It is very, very empty. I used it until the end. I still like it as a gloss, but I feel like it didn't really make my lips very plump. I didn't feel that tingly feeling that usually the lip plumpers have in them. I like that feeling. Um, but I just didn't feel like it made my lips plump. And I used it until the very end because I still liked it as a gloss. But as far as a lip plumper, I definitely, this was not it for me. I've seen videos where people use this and it does make their lips bigger. So I don't know if it's just me or what, but as far as it being Dior, it's like 30 bucks. And so I'm probably not going to rebuy this because I only like it for a gloss. So I might check out the Dior glasses and go from there. That might be a better bet for me. But the lip plumper, it just wasn't working for me. So... That is everything for my hits this month for June and a little bit of May. This is what I've been loving. You guys should check them out and leave me a comment down below of what you want to see next. If you have any questions, definitely make sure to comment, hit that like button, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. All right, have a good day, you guys. Bye.